Hi everyone, Jeff Rudd here. Uh, as most of you know, for the last week, Michal Martin and Leo Vradka have been taken, or trying to at least, uh, take lumps out of Mary Lou of Sinn Féin for taking a court case against RTE over something they are alleged to have said or alluded to that was supposed to be false. Michal Martin and Leo Vradka are constantly tag teaming each other and having a go at Mary Lou for just actually taking a legal case. As I posted on my Facebook page uh, this morning, I mentioned that this is the same Leo Varadke that tried to silence the Village magazine uh, over day stating something also. Something that actually was also true and by an apology from Leo Varadke, public and in the doll, it, uh, it was proved to be true. So he was legally threatening them. So it's, a, it's okay for him to legally threaten uh, media, but when Leo Vradka uh, sees anybody else doing it, he rubbishes them or tries to knock seven bells out of them, attacks them basically. This is the same Leo Vradka that, that apparently went on to lecture others around uh, the top tables of government because they were supposedly leaking stuff to media. So the leaker was lecturing others about leaking stuff after he attacked uh, media and threatened them over stuff that they wanted to say. And this is the same Leo Varadke that also is coming from the party of law and order, uh, law and justice, Fine Gael, as they like to call themselves uh, in a subtitle. They supposedly standing up for justice to be carried out and allowed to be carried out. And then on the other hand they're saying well Mary Lou is not likely entitled to do the same but when she does try they try and knock seven bells over. So it's a case of double standards. Now most of this is obvious to people but there is one aspect that is more worrying. Leo Vraga and Mia Martin are saying that Mary Lou is trying to intimidate RTE into silence. As a citizen of this country, every person is entitled to defend their name, be it any or media organisation. And every other media organisation has a right to defend themselves too, in return. But what they're trying to do now is intimidate a woman into silence. And quite frankly, by association, intimidate anybody else from Sinn Féin into silence if they dare even challenge something that's said against them. Rightly or wrongly. If they challenge it, it looks like Michal Martin, Leo Vradke, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael are going to attack those even trying to take a case and defend their good name. If there is a good name to defend. So, not only is this now a form of intimidation and in, in, possibly a way to try and stop them trying to defend their own name by intimidation and if you do so, we'll attack you. There is another important aspect. Michal Martin and Leo Vraga could be accused of interfering with an ongoing legal process. The journal.ie and other websites that have comment sections close their comment sections deliberately down when they mention topics that have an attached legal case pending or ongoing. They do this for legal reasons so that anybody that's on the jury, that's sitting on the court uh, seat, is not overly influenced by what's been said by the public or by anybody else trying to interfere within the case or external to it. Then we have Leo Varadka and Michal Martin knowing there is an ongoing legal case pending in the Dublin High Courts throwing their oar in across radio and newsprint media and besides the television stations when they stand up in the doll knowing that it's recorded and will be broadcast on RTE etc. So in effect, they could be accused of interfering with an ongoing legal process. This is supposed to be illegal. So what the hell is going on here? On one hand, there is double standards. There is possible intimidation. If you take a case, we're going to attack you. And they could be possibly acting illegal in interfering with an ongoing legal process. And this is the government. Folks, you couldn't make this stuff up. Well, you couldn't, but apparently Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael can. How Ireland works, it's not good enough anymore. It's time for better. Thank you for listening.